Right, well here we are with the gearbox compartment open. I've actually already done what I wanted to do, which will hopefully help fix the problem. I'd like to say eliminate the problem, but uh, I wouldn't be so cocky as that, but hopefully it will. Um, I've changed quite a few components in the gearbox there. And just out of interest, we are actually in third gear at the moment, and it's nice to see that the... Uh, Suspect gear, the slide, the second gear, main shaft second gear or sliding gear, is engaged into the gear closer to me on the uh, main shaft, which ties in with the worn dogs I found on the one I removed. So this gear was in the gearbox. I've taken it out, and there's just you just see a bit of rounding perhaps on those uh, on the corners of those dogs there. And uh, the gear I put in fits a lot better as you slide it in and out of the corresponding gear. It doesn't sort of like twist and ride out like this one was starting to do. So hopefully that might sort that out. And that, if we look here, is part number, well not part number, but the illustration number 11. And if we look in the parts book there. There's number 11, T1089, main shaft, second gear. So that's that one. I also changed this one, which is not listed on its own. It uh, originally came with the main shaft and the gear next to it. And the whole assembly is called the main shaft cluster. But what happened is actually where in the face of this is worn a recess into it slightly. Where it bears up against the shoulder of the bronze bush that the uh, main shaft runs in on the kickstart side. So I managed to get a gear that was in better condition that didn't have that recess worn into it. And that will take up some end float that may have been present on the main shaft. And also perhaps contribute to helping this. As well as that I changed both selector forks for some that may hopefully be a little less worn. And just like on that Trifield uh, Trials bike, I fitted a different cam plate where there's um, a lot less play in the tracks. And that again there is your crucial third gear part. And there was a bit of play in that as well where the selector fork was able to sort of slop around in it a little. So I'm hoping that all those things will come together and contribute to this machine, hopefully being able to stay in third gear. It wasn't jumping completely out. I think it was very quickly jumping out and back in again. But that's the start of something you don't want and it's not convenient and I'd hate to be uh, perhaps giving it a big handful trying to overtake something and all of a sudden you jump out of gear at a very critical moment. Plus it just uh, takes the enjoyment out of the ride a little bit. So um, I'm hoping that this will all fix that anyway and um, once I've boxed this side up I'll be going around the other side to uh, sort out the hopefully sort out the clutch and fit the new alternator stator and then perhaps finally I'll be able to have it back in one piece and perhaps just maybe it might be able to be unmolested and just enjoyed for a little while to come without having to mess around with it too much because it's been a long battle this bike um, Every time something's cropped up, I've managed to sort it out and uh, it's improved the bike as a result. Hopefully this will do the same. And uh, the aim is, is to be able to just enjoy the thing in the spring and summer. I don't particularly want to go far on it or terribly fast, but I want it to be capable. And uh, bit by bit, hopefully we're getting there.